Dry sensitive skin, thirst no more. Hi, I'm Marina Solar, owner and operator of Bella Cream, an all natural skincare business operating out of the Hudson Valley in New York. I started creating salves as a way to address all of my skincare needs. I, as an eczema sufferer, found it very difficult to locate products that would both address my eczema and allow me prolonged moisturization throughout the day. Salves are a wonderful way to use nature's bounty of both beeswax and botanicals to create something that you love. To create your own salve, you'll only need a few simple ingredients beeswax, and oil. Here I have beeswax that I sourced from my very own backyard bees. However, if you don't have access to bees in your backyard, you can purchase it online or at a local beekeeper. Here we have a lavender infused oil. We allowed it to sit six to eight weeks and we strained it and it is now ready for use. In addition, and completely optional, we have a lavender essential oil. The tools that you'll need are a measuring cup, a scale, a spatula, and a double boiler. If you don't have access to a double boiler, you just need two pots, one larger than the other. You wanna ensure that your larger pot is not more than half full with water prior to placing your smaller pot inside. In addition, you'll need a clean glass jar to put your finished salve in. First, we need to measure out our ingredients. Let's start with the oil. Pour three quarter cups of oil into your measuring glass. Next, we're gonna take our smaller pot, place it onto our scale and power it on. Be sure that your scale reads zero before placing any of your beeswax inside. Put one ounce of beeswax into your pot. Now you're ready to melt your beeswax. Place your smaller pot into your larger pot. Remember, only fill the larger pot halfway with water. You want to ensure that the water from the larger pot doesn't leak into your beeswax. Typically, it takes about 10 minutes for the beeswax to melt completely. Now that your beeswax is fully melted, you may add your oil. Pour the entire contents of your measuring glass into the pot. Be aware, but don't be alarmed, that the introduction of the oil, which is colder than the wax itself at this point, will change the texture of your creation. Gently stir and allow both the oil and the beeswax to reach a neutral space. Once the oil and the wax have combined, it is safe to test your mixture. You can do this by putting the wax on the surface of a glass and allowing it to cool. When it reaches the consistency that you desire, it is ready to use. If you want a harder consistency, use less oil. If you want a softer consistency, you can add more oil. So for instance, if you're hoping to make a lip balm, you would like it to be hard so it fits in a tube. If you're hoping to make a salve, as we're doing here in this class, then you'd like to add more oil so that it's easier to spread. In this case, I'd like to add some more oil. Mm -hmm. 
Now that you've reached the consistency that you desired, remove your smaller pot from your larger pot and off of the heat source. It is now safe to add your essential oils. A safe amount of essential oil to add would be based on who will be using the salve. It is important to note that if an infant is using the salve, you are going to use less. A good rule of thumb is to consider one to six drops per two tablespoons of oil. We're going to add 35 drops of essential oil. Once that's complete, stir gently to combine the essential oils with your salve. You are now ready to pour your salve into a clean jar. It should take 20 to 30 minutes for your salve to cool completely. How quickly or how slow it cools depends on the temperature in your home. If you need it to cool any quicker than that, feel free to place it in the refrigerator. You can leave it uncovered to facilitate cooling, or you can cover it up. The option is yours. After your salve is cooled completely, if you find that it isn't the consistency that you had wished, feel free to melt it all over again and add the oil or the wax that is necessary to reach a desired consistency. Again, it's important that if you want a softer consistency, you add more oil, and if you want a harder consistency, you add more wax. Homemade salves offer you versatility. When you settle down to choose the oils and the botanicals that you wish to use for your infusion and therefore your salve, it's important that you decide exactly what you want from your end product. For instance, I like to use a few different varieties. I have a rose hip and orange essential oil infusion, which is created by first making a rose hip infusion, adding it to beeswax as we did today, and adding additional drops of orange essential oil to both prolong the shelf life and give it an added boost of scent. You can also use an olive oil and lavender infusion. I don't often use olive oil. It does have medicinal properties. However, it is more commodogenic than the other options that are here. Commodogenic scale just applies to the ability to clog the pores or the propensity to clog the pores. Another option would be a goldenrod and lemon essential oil salve. Goldenrod is perfect for soothing sensitive skin and treating skin conditions such as eczema. Lemon essential oil adds a nice complementing scent to goldenrod. And of course, here we have the salve that we created in class. This is made with the lavender infused oil as well as some additional drops of lavender essential oil. Remember that essential oils are derivatives of plants and flowers. We added lavender essential oil here to enhance the anti-inflammatory and relaxing properties that were already present in our infusion. To prolong the shelf life on your salves, you will want to store them in a cool, dry place out of direct sunlight. There they'll keep for six to 12 months. Now that you know how to make a salve, you are well on your way to creating your very own lip balm, pomade, or skin conditioner.